this amazing commodity. I'm going to do it. Good, good. Not bad, kid. Thanks, kid. Bye bye.
Those look familiar. You hear again, kid? <laughs> Even Buddha's not that forgiving. All right, that's it. I'm gonna hand you over to the bouncer and... Well, there's no Buddha in this world, so... Stop looking at me like that and sit down, kid. So tell me, is it that fun hanging out with an old monk whose own wife and kid left him? How come you're always alone when I see you? Don't you got any friends? Well, either you like being alone or you got problems. In any case, well said. No hesitation whatsoever. Don't worry if you don't got any friends. Most of life's troubles come from human relationships anyway. Let's define a friend as someone you hold dear. The way I see it, no one in this world ever really cares for others. People always want something out of a relationship. They only really love themselves. You don't call someone who doesn't like you your friend, do you? No. Because you know you won't get nothing from them. Which means in this world, there's no one you can truly hold dear. At the end of the lonely road of love, kid, you're the only one left standing there. See those gals over there? The ones on the dance floor? You can bring one of them over here. I'll be your friend in return, huh? Eh? What do you think? I know you can do it. Talk to him, huh? <laughs> you look like you're gonna doze off any second now. Go home for now, kid. Besides, I know you're gonna come again anyway, even if I tell you not to. Morning. Obliged. Good to see you. What do you got? Wanna sell and bump? Alright, I'll take that. Uh huh. Uh, running a little sale today. See if anything catches your eye. That what you want? Great, it's all yours. Hmm? 
You finished? Come back soon. Looks like Chidori still ain't back yet. I get it's her own fault for running off on her own, but she's still one of us, you know? We gotta help her somehow. Don't be impatient, Jin. If she hasn't yet freed herself, that must mean her evoker was taken. Our first objective must be to retrieve it. It would mean nothing to free Chidori without it. For us, our persona is as precious as our very lives. We should wait for an opportunity. They've found their own navigator, their own set of eyes. Without Chidori, we'd only be playing into their hands. Yeah, you're right, Takaya. Sorry I lost my cool there for a second. But what are we gonna do? They took down that shadow during the last full moon like it was nothing. If they got someone who can predict our moves, it'll be hard to catch them off guard. <sighs> yes, that's true. By the way, what is that thing? It looks like some kind of clunky evoker. This is one of the first evokers ever developed. I suppose you could call it a prototype. Oh, that's right. You've never seen this before, have you, Jin? <laughs> this was truly a terrible piece of work. In exchange for drawing out the full extent of a persona's latent power, the cost is that they become exceedingly difficult to control, especially for those who had their power forced upon them, like ourselves. To a persona that has lost control, the user is but a shackle. In those days, it was more commonplace to be killed by our own personas than by the shadows. This was the result of one such killing. I am a shadow, the true self. <laughs> Regardless, I'm not one to dwell on the past. So, that's why you don't use an evoker? Hardly. The real reason is far more practical. I don't use one because I have no need. I don't require something as inelegant as a tool to prove my resolve. You really are something special, Takaya. Yet, there is always someone out there who is even greater. Such as... one who can wield multiple personas. Ah, am I feeling... attachment for someone? <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Takaya? <sighs> Such a thought is beneath me. What do you think, Yamagishi? 
Do you sense anything? No. Huh. By refusing to speak, you're only hurting yourself. We aren't trying to keep you hostage. We just want to avoid unnecessary confrontation. How's Shidori? You're back again. Why are you so hung up on her, Junpei? Did she say anything? Not a word. Let me talk to her. Yori, you're getting really emotionally invested in this. Is everything all right? Well, I know she attacked me. But I don't know. I, I just can't get her out of my head. Please, let me do this. Call for desperate measures, I suppose. All right, see if you can get through to her. Got it. You okay? <sighs> I'm glad they let you keep your sketchbook. Wow, you're still drawing pictures? Even in the hospital? You really do like to draw, huh? It doesn't matter. She spoke to him. Only I can understand my drawings. Wait! Chidori! Your arm! It's bleeding! Duh, not again! Yamagishi, get the doctor. All right. What happened? Why are you bleeding? She does it to herself. I thought I took all the sharp objects in here. She did this to herself? Apparently we can't leave her unattended for even a moment. At the very least, she seems to heal at an astonishing rate. Let, let go of me! And that cut on your hand back at the station, you did that to yourself? I never asked for you to worry about me. You were the one who jumped to conclusions. Well, I want you to stop. You can't be doing that. I'm not just saying this because I'm worried about you. I don't want to see you hurting yourself. All right? The doctor will be here soon. You should head back. Right. So, you seem to have found your voice. Can I help you? Uh, well, I'm okay. Why are you asking? 
You aren't worried about me, are you? If so, thank you, but I'm totally fine. I'll do that. You're really caring, senpai. Thanks for going out of your way to check on me. I'll do my best not to worry you. Well then, good night. Okay. Come to think of it, we haven't had dinner yet. I should probably eat something. <sighs> um, senpai? You wouldn't happen to be hungry, would you? Welcome! Take any open seat. <sighs> He's not here. Oh, uh, it's nothing. Sorry for asking you to go out all of a sudden. I just wanted someone to come with me. It's a little intimidating going to get food by myself. People tend to stare when they see an elementary school kid like me out on his own. Your order? Two specials coming right up. Seems like that's the thing to get, huh? Thanks for ordering. So, I saw some people from our dorm stop by here a while back. Like, Sonata-san, and that guy who recently joined. Aragaki-san. Do you come here with them too? What kinds of things do you talk about? Oh, sorry for asking something so weird. I just thought I should know a bit more about everyone, since we'll be fighting together from now on. But, it's good either way. Because I've always wanted to have a proper chat with you. Everyone in the dorm is amazing. But you're on a completely different level. I can't believe how many personas you're able to use. Here you are. Ikutsuki-san and Mitsuru-san said that each person normally has only one persona, and that it doesn't change. That means what I saw back then was really... Uh, it's nothing. Sorry. Shall we eat? Oh, I finished all the soup, too. I'm stuffed. Phoenix Ranger Featherman R, the melancholy of Swallow, will air this winter as a TV special. Huh? Wow, a spinoff with Swallow as the main character. I gotta make sure I record that. Yeah, it is. This is big news! Swallow doesn't usually make much of an impression, but there's a theory that he's actually stronger than Hawk! Uh, I, uh, heard that from a friend. TV shows like that seem to be popular in my class. I only watch them, so I have something to talk about. <laughs> anyway, it's been a while since I've enjoyed a meal like this. I guess it's because I'm eating with you. You're really easy to talk to, and the ramen was delicious. Maybe next time we can... <sighs> um, it's nothing. It's getting late. We should start heading back. It was delicious. No, this food was not delicious. Don't let yourself think like that. Hey, Amara! You on your way home? <laughs> Us too. We just finished eating dinner. Oh, are you from the same class, amata -kun? Yes, it's nice to meet you. Oh yeah, Amata, you gotta join next month's soccer tournament. We've all been waiting for you, you know? We can even practice together after school. I'll have to pass. I'm not even sure if I could make it next month. Aw, oh, come on, we can't win without you. You're better than all of us. You can't pressure someone like that. Can't you see you're bothering him? I'm sure amata has a lot going on. Isn't that right? Oh, no, it's fine. I'm sorry. Please excuse us. You should hurry home too, amata -kun. Home. Come on, let's get going. Your grandma is waiting for us. <sighs> Sorry about us, that. <sighs> no, it's not that. I just have enough to do. The second semester has already started, and we have to go to Tartarus at night. 
I know we'll be going through a lot from now on, so I decided to not make any promises. More importantly, sorry for keeping you out so late. Let's make our way back to the door. Attention, please. So that's why.
Thanks, man. Don't call me that. <laughs> Come on, lighten up. Here, I brought you a new sketchbook. I thought your old one might be getting full. I don't remember asking you to do that, Junpei. <laughs> you finally called me by my name. I wasn't sure if you'd ever say it again. She finally started talking, but she hasn't said anything useful so far. Well, it's a start. More of a response than we got from her. So, why are you here? <coughs> Shidori? What's wrong? What is that? There's something right there! An enemy? Wrong! Move! <gasps> Shinorian! Relax. Her persona just went berserk. It happens. It... happens? Weren't you guys watching? You could see her persona strangling her for a second. They're not like us. They can't fully control their personas. That's why they need to take suppressants. To keep their personas from killing them. Suppressants? Wait. Do you know something about Strega? Some things you only pick up stepping off the straight and narrow. I'll give the duck the meds I have. The rest is up to you. Shinji, wait! Hey! Uh, I... Junpei? <sighs> Thank God. I thought you were gonna die. What do you mean? Why do you look so scared? Death is nothing to be afraid of. What are you talking about? Dying just means you won't wake up tomorrow. That's all. What the hell are you saying? You don't really mean that, do you? Junpei? I don't want that. You hear me, Chidori? I don't want you to die. Junpei. It doesn't matter if you're not afraid. That's not the point. I don't want to have to live in a world without you. <laughs> you're so weird, Junpei. <laughs> Look who's talking. Hey, wait! Shinji! <clears throat> What the hell's going on? Why did you have those suppressants? <sighs> I've heard about what they do. They're taken to rein in a persona when the user can't control it. But the side effects... <sighs> You're not taking them, are you? <sighs> Answer me! I don't have to tell you shit. Why are you always like this? Save it. I've heard it all before. You think I'm wasting my power. You can't stand the sight of someone so half-assed, right? I'm sick of your damn preaching. <laughs> Ugh, shit. You don't understand at all. You should already know. Ten years ago, when the orphanage burned down, I couldn't save my sister. Back then, I wasn't strong enough to get past the adults holding me back to even try. <sighs> That's why I try so hard. I 
thought you felt the same way. We promised each other to become strong enough to do what we think is right. So why? Why'd you start taking those drugs without telling me? I'm back in the fight now. I have no reason to suppress my persona anymore. So just let it go. Damn it. <laughs> and the side effects. Hmm. There's something I need to take care of. It's something only I can do. I gotta take responsibility. What do you mean? Listen. Quit worrying about me. Just do what you think is right. Got that? Shinji. Sorry to make you come here. I, uh, uh, damn it. Yeah, I, I. Dude, it's bad. I don't know what to do. The school found out about Emmy Re and me. It blew up and became this huge thing. And now she's being transferred to a school in Kyushu. What do I do? Yeah, man, that's what I thought. Except I feel like she's totally avoiding me. It's like all of a sudden she won't answer my calls or reply to my texts. She's probably only doing this to protect me, but still. I can't just sit here and do nothing. I gotta think of a plan, and I'm gonna need your help. See you soon. Thanks for hearing me out today. Hello, this is Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. Oh, it's you. Welcome back. I'm looking forward to it. Here are my requests. Let's hear the results. Oh, yes! By all means. By all means. By all means, I will await a report of success. Very well, then.
morning. Yeah. Okay then.
so. Thanks. Hey man, I was gonna wait to tell you this until we sit down to eat, but I've decided to go to Kyushu with Emu. So this will be the last time we have ramen together. Emiri? Who's that she's with? I didn't think he'd get so serious about it. He's just a kid. He must have misunderstood. I did it for my own track record as a teacher. He should be grateful. Seems like he's the one who spread the rumors. And now other students are... Just a little longer. We'll celebrate our wedding soon enough. I can't wait. Emiri. So, I guess today was the day she was leaving. I had no idea. I was so excited about going with her that I... I... It's fine. I'm okay. Thanks, though, man. It's not Emery's fault, anyway. I screwed things up. Not her. Why, Emmy Reed? Why? <laughs> now my nose is running. <laughs> Thanks. If you weren't here, I'd. Welcome back. Marvelous. I'm looking forward to it. Here are my requests. Let's hear the results. How splendid. Very well, then. Await a report of success. Very well, then. Yes. Day. Are you accepting a request? Wonderful. Oh, my. You have my thanks. Very well, then.
Good morning, this is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. One this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. This time in particular, I believe this human is an acquaintance of yours. Goodbye now. Our next topic. No one else is gonna be here today. But they said we still can't give you back your evoker. I wasn't expecting them to. That's why I'm in here in the first place. Oh yeah, uh, how's that cut doing? Ah, right. Probably healed already, huh? So, uh, you're not drawing today? Does it matter? Well, uh, not really. Huh, your flower's wilted. Uh, the heat must have got to him. Oh, I know. Why don't I go buy you some fresh ones? What's your favorite kind of... Hey, what's wrong? <sighs> huh? Flowers? Yeah, those are cut flowers, right? Whoa. How'd you do that? I gave them a little bit of my energy. I didn't know your healing powers could do stuff like that. It's like a miracle or something. It's nothing special. You have powers too, don't you? This is just another form they can take. Well, yeah, I guess. But that's about all I've got going for me. Without this power, I'd be a nobody. I just talk a big game, pretending like I'm some kind of hero. But in reality... 
I don't know what the hell I'm fighting for. In fact, I don't even really have a good reason to live. A good reason to live? Good reason. When I was a kid, I had this silly dream. A dream? I used to want to grow up to be a pro baseball player. Pretty stupid, huh? But I guess that's part of being a kid. I wouldn't really know. I don't remember much from my childhood. I only remember one thing. Being surrounded by white. Everything was white. Hmm. I hate hospitals. Oh. You do. Um... Sorry. But you've been coming to see me here, so I don't mind as much this time. Chidori. Did you mean it? Then I'll come to see you every day. Oh, you're back. 